what I learned from him is about something called the glycocalyx. So it lines everything in the body. It lines every cell. Bacteria have a glycocalyx. It lines our gut lining. It lines the blood brain barrier. All of our organs, everything is surrounded by this gel like glycocalyx. So many of these chemicals and Drugs have different in- interactions in the glycocalyx. We hear people talking about leaky gut, and I think that's been great, but it's taken about a decade for you know some people in the medical world to actually agree that there is such a thing as the leaky gut. And that is basically a leaky glycocalyx. There are many factors that are damaging that, but one of the big ones is a lot of our household cleaning things. So if I go back to the early microbiome data, they were talking about the hygiene hypothesis and how like growing up in a really clean environment now, you know, we're not exposed to as many microbes and all of this that train our immune system. And that makes a lot of sense. But another piece of that puzzle that's missing that makes a lot of sense is that all these cleaning products are very damaging to that glycocalyx endothelial surface layer. And that is really the sensing intelligence of every organ every cell in the body. And so that's what's so important to support that glycocalyx. And it is made out of hyaluronic acid, which doesn't sound like a fiber, but it's actually a fiber that comes from animals and sulfated polymers. So keratin sulfate, heparin sulfate, chondroitin sulfate. And depending on what tissues in the body, the consistency of those little kind of spiraling seaweed-like threads can have a slightly different makeup. 